it's Monday, the, tw- uh, the 14th of June. Welcome to the Breakfast Show. I'm your host, Mark Anthony, and you can tell that summer's finally here. I'm not wearing black, and behind these glasses, the hay fever is raging. Uh, it'll be a miracle if I make it through today's show without sneezing. Uh, I hope you've had a good weekend because we look set for yet another Manic Monday. We will get to those news headlines in just a second, but first, let's take a moment to reflect upon the various celebrities that we claim to know and love, but who we still forget to send a birthday card. It's many happy returns to retired tennis superstar Steffi Graf, to gender-bending singer Boy George. Do you really want to hurt me? No, George, but someone probably should have given you a slap for Karma Chameleon. Uh, Happy birthday uh, also to Marxist revolutionary and the face on a million T-shirts, Ernesto Che Guevara. And finally, although this one is not a birthday, I just wanted to wish uh, footballer Christian Christian Eriksen a speedy recovery. Uh, I was watching, along with millions of others, I'm sure, uh, the Denmark Finland match on Saturday when Eriksen collapsed, and it was genuinely one of the most harrowing things I think I've ever witnessed. Uh, so I sincerely hope he makes a full recovery. Now, a word from a, our brand new sponsor. The Miller GT Series heralds a new era of unrivaled power and cutting-edge intelligent coupler technology, increasing job site safety, machine versatility and productivity. It's the added versatility that you need at the value you can afford. To find out more, visit millergroundbreaking.com. We're absolutely delighted to have uh, Miller on board as our latest sponsor, and we look forward to working with them in the future. Uh, great British company doing some great things both here and overseas. Uh, now, we do have a nice implosion for you a bit later in the show, but first, the Federation of Master Builders has become the latest to voice its concern over the shortage of certain building materials. Responding to the latest Office for National Statistics construction output report, FMB Chief Executive Brian Berry said, it's clear that the shortage of construction materials and rising prices are impacting small builders and threatens many businesses' survival as we emerge from lockdown. The latest FMB state of trade data shows that 93% of builders reported material price increases in the first quarter of this year. Against this backdrop of high levels of inquiries for building work, it's imperative that smaller businesses have the same access to materials as the larger firms during these difficult times. Um, they're not the first to uh, to mention this, and I've certainly got no doubt that there is validity to the FB, FMB's claims about material shortages. But I'm also mindful of the fact that this organisation is fast gaining a reputation of almost constant negativity. They're the sort of trade body that would receive a cheque for a million pounds and complain about the colour of the envelope that it came in. Uh, I'm just saying. If you're a demolition contractor working in or around Manchester, then today is your lucky day, as we have not one but two new project leads that require your attention. The first is at Zaverian College, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, Imagine being so poorly educated that you actually get the name of a college wrong. Oh, the irony. Um, A three-storey building on the college campus is to be reconfigured, and that will require the demolition of an external staircase and an internal strip-out. Uh, The client in this instance are the trustees of the college itself. Elsewhere in Manchester, plans are afoot for the construction of seven new homes on the site of the former Greenhays Youth Centre on Highfield Road. But first, that youth centre will need to be demolished by a suitable, competent uh, contractor. The client on this one is Great Places Housing Group. Uh, Great name for a great housing group. Uh, You can find out more about both of these over at buildersconference.co. Dot UK. It's almost Big Bang time, but first this.
This time last week it was Brown and Mason. This time it's their Transatlantic Counterparts Controlled Demolition Inc. or CDI as we all know them, uh, removing a blight from the local skyline. Uh, CDI has carried out the successful explosive demolition of three stacks at the former Tonawanda. Hey, I'm guessing. Uh, the Tonawanda Coke plant in New York. All three stacks were well over 200 feet in height, but as with everything that CDI touches, they fell without resistance. Let's take a look. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, fire. Congratulations to the CDI team for yet another job beautifully executed. Sorry to interrupt the guy with the funny glasses, but if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button as it helps our channel. Or, better still, share this video with a friend or a colleague. Thank you. Right, back to Beardy. She's starting to get on my nerves now. Uh, finally for today, it came to my attention several weeks ago that a certain individual was attempting to ensure that no one from his, his organisation spoke to me. He was, in effect, attempting to invoke an internal gagging order. Now, the fact that I know about this is probably all the proof you need that his gagging order is far from watertight. Second of all, the fact that you, our viewers, haven't noticed any difference or any obvious holes in our coverage just goes to show how irrelevant this planned and strategic silence actually is. But thirdly, and most importantly, that attempted gagging order merely sent up a flare and raised a flag of intrigue and, and re renewed interest. I could sense a sneeze coming. Uh, rather than ensuring that I just shuffle away disappointed, clutching my reporter's notebook, that person just placed his organisation at the very top of my scrutiny and investigation list. You see, no one goes to the trouble trouble of putting in place a gag order or a super injunction unless they have something to hide. And you've only got to check the uh, news headlines over the past few years to see which celebrities have tried and failed. Um, the person in question swears blind that he never watches this show and that he never visits demolitionnews.com. But I know that simply isn't true. Uh, someone really needs to explain to him the notion of a digital footprint. But my question really is this. What have you got to hide? What are you, up, what are you so afraid that I might uncover? I am very, very intrigued. Right, my day job awaits, so unless there's any further business, I shall declare this episode of The Breakfast Show adjourned. Uh, but fear not, I shall return, same time, same place, on the morrow. But until then, have a great day, enjoy the sunshine, stay safe, look after yourself, your family, your friends, and your colleagues, and I will see you again tomorrow. <coughs>